Hello, and welcome to Bolt Action Reloading. If you ever use water to measure the internal case volume of your brass cases, stick around! Hello, and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, and you want to learn how I and the rest of the community here make our group smaller, start now by subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell icon. That way you'll get notified when I post new videos and you won't miss anything. Today's video is going to be a quick video talking about an interesting tool by 21st Century Reloading. Though it may seem unnecessary, this tool is actually a very interesting tool. Though some of you might right out of the gate not see the necessity for this tool, you might want to stick around as we go through our conversation and maybe you'll change your mind. To start out with, if you're not really familiar with 21st century shooting, you're really missing out on looking at some very interesting products. They sell some very high quality tools for various different purposes during the reloading process. And this is just one of them that I ran across. If you've been a fan of the channel for a while, you know that periodically during some of the tests, especially my brass evaluations, I have performed some water weight testing on the channel to compare the consistency of the cases from case to case within a certain lot for the internal case volume. Though there are several ways of doing this, arguably possibly just as accurate, this is the way that I've ended up and I probably will always do going forward. Now, first of all, you could obviously just net remove your spent primer on your cases or simply reprime one of your cases with a spent primer. However, I think one of the big things across the board as reloaders we're always looking for is consistency. And I do believe that this will help you be slightly more consistent with your reading. As we'll take a closer look, I'll probably put a, a better shot on your screen. But essentially, you will see that there is simply a machine plug with an O-ring. While this may not seem like some great invention, it is fairly interesting. This actually allows you to grip with one hand very easily, twist your brass, and you can get it in and out very, very quickly. And move it on to the next one. Another interesting feature, really probably not a big shock to anyone, they come in large and small primer. But one thing I thought was very interesting is at least mine weigh exactly the same. And that exactly the same is 278.9 grains. Now I don't know if this just happens to be coincidence or that is exactly what they intended. And one of the other things for you guys to consider, if you do a lot of this, these really aren't that expensive. The actual price of these devices are $11.99 a piece without any coupon code. Or that kind of thing. Shipping isn't horrendous though. I'm not going to quote what it is to you because it might be slightly different depending on your location. Talk about a couple of reasons why I purchased them actually is even if I'm going to do water weight testing I always prefer to actually wet tumble my brass just to keep my dyes as clean as possible. So I'll actually deep prime my cases before I wet tumble. That would obviously make itself more difficult to actually have to reprime them after I was done. Then you could say as simple as that we'll just leave the primers in. Well that is true, however, you end up not actually cleaning the primer pockets out and leaving yourself one more step unless you plan to mechanically clean the primer pockets or uniform them at every time. One other thing to cover along those realm, if you do actually tumble with the primer pockets in, I've had significant problems, you know, initially being able to get the air bubbles out to make sure that the inside of the cases are being cleaned just the same when you don't have the primer already popped out, as well as it is significantly more difficult to make sure the cases are as dry as possible when you're finishing that process and you have to dry for a significantly longer amount of time to make sure you don't actually have any water weight to start with. Again, depending on how much time you have and how consistent you feel you are at this, you know, draw your own conclusions on your process. However, I found it's easy to go through my standard process. If I want to sample my case volume on a particular case, I can easily do that without having to put a spent primer in, as well as I could easily go through the entire lot and not have any problems. I would gladly leave a link to the website in the description box. However, with YouTube's new rules, I'm hesitant to do that anymore. However, I'm sure if you Google 21st century shooting, you won't have any trouble finding the website and finding whatever tool you're having to look for. They have, again, like I said, they have lots of great tools on there. Certainly far more advanced than these primer pocket plugs. However, these are just one of the products that I have. And for the price they were, and as quickly as they were delivered to the house, I was pretty happy with their services. One more thing that might have generated some questions if you guys have stuck around this long, is if we're talking about water weighing cases, why in the world is there alcohol on the reloading bench? And honestly, there's a very good reason. When I actually started out on this channel doing water weighing cases and putting my data out there for you guys to talk about, one of the commenters to the channel actually gave me some very good ideas, and those I would like to share with you today. However, I don't want to be the one to tell you that I'm the one that came up with them. I want to give full credit to a Mr. Vern Harrison, who also signs his posts as Flea. Him and I have had some very good interaction in the comments section. He's been a great asset, pointing me in the right direction some of the things that I was having issues with, this being one of them. 
I'll try and quote him the best that I can. In one of the posts when we talked about brass sorting, his quote was, Oh yes, I sort my brass, but only if I'm match shooting or working up loads. First, I only use 91% or higher alcohol. I plug the primer pocket with a spent primer or number two pencil eraser. Water has way too much air in it. Small tiny bubbles you can't even see. For match use, I will sort them plus or minus 0.5 grains. Certainly an excerpt from what we were talking about in that particular case. However, I, do I did think it was interesting that alcohol would give you a slightly more consistent reading. And to be honest, guys, he's not wrong. In my last brass evaluation videos, some of them I actually told you that I used a conversion to convert to water weight because I've actually 100% on this channel, all of the water weighing I'm doing have converted to using this 91% alcohol. Now, I'm not going to tell you where, where not to get it from, but it didn't really even dawn on me that the additional additive when you buy alcohol is water. Trying to measure for consistency across the cases, I actually did find that alcohol would give a much more consistent reading even when converted to water weight. Please keep in mind that there is a slightly different density between the two fluids, and so if you're actually wanting your water weight volume, you will have to convert it. Depending on the concentration of your alcohol, 91% of it is alcohol and the remaining 9% is water. I'll put up on the screen what I consider to be the conversion of alcohol to water that I found on the channel. But again, do the research for yourself, feel comfortable with it, and think about it the next time you're using water to evaluate the case volume of your cases. One more thing before we get going today, I want to tell you guys about another channel here on YouTube. The channel is actually called That Guy Channel, and I will put a link to him down in the description. Though not a 6.5 Creedmoor guy, he does shoot 260 Remington. Some of the projectiles that he uses are certainly applicable to 6.5 Creedmoor, as well as a lot of the powders he would try would certainly not be the same charge weights from case to case, but certainly most of the powders he might be using would also be powders we would use in 6.5 Creedmoor. He is very close to 1,000 subscribers. I would appreciate if you guys go over there, find a video, watch a video, comment him, tell him that Bolt Axe Reloading sent you over there. You're glad he's making content. Encourage him to create some more and push him over that 1,000 subscriber mark so he can possibly monetize his videos, get a few pennies back for all of his efforts on YouTube, and possibly help him create some more content for everyone. Anyway, that's pretty much our video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, Next time you think about doing this, think about getting these primer plugs, think about using alcohol, and if you would liked it, put it down in the comment section below, let other people know it's something they should try out. Or if you think I'm crazy, by all means, put that in the comment section below. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found it informative. If so, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and until next week, stay safe in small groups, everyone.